Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Javi de MikeAscaio.com Esto es English Listening, bienvenidos. En el vídeo de hoy Mike nos habla sobre el proceso de aprendizaje. Así que nada, vamos a ver cómo aprende y a ver qué aprendemos de él. Adelante Mike. Hello and welcome back to English Listening. I'm Mike from MikeAndHavi.com Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things to do in life. And that is learning. Learning new things. And I'm guessing that a lot of the people that are watching this video are probably also interested in that. But I've, I think the reason why I say one of my favorite things to do is that I, I used to try to break down like I like to play guitar, I like to learn language, like that. But what I really noticed about myself is that I'm addicted to learning things. I always want to be on top of the new trends. I always want to know what's going on and have a little bit of an understanding of just about everything that I'm exposed to. And um, it just really made me think about um, how my learning process has changed and how it's developed over the years and maybe some of the things that I've actually learned from my learning process, from my 37, almost 38 years of, of trying to teach myself things. Maybe there's things that I can actually share with you guys that might be helpful. Maybe you know them already, but it's nice to kind of just spell them out a little bit. Um, I, I would say that the first major thing that I tried to learn on my own was after I graduated from college, I kind of discovered that I was really interested in music and that I wanted to actually perform some music, but I knew nothing. <laughs> Now, my only experience was that I actually... Um, I actually played um, saxophone um, in uh, junior high, and I didn't have to play it in high school. I was, I guess, I begged my parents not to make me play it in high school, and they allowed me to quit. But I did play it um, uh, through uh, for four years, um, from fourth to eighth grade. And um, before that, I actually was, um, I had a small period of time that I was actually in the school choir at my um, parochial school in my earlier years. And so I had some singing experience, and I actually have always been very, um, I've always been a very decent singer. And so anyway, I decided at one point in my senior year in college, as I was getting ready to leave, that I really wanted to spend some time learning to play an instrument that I can enjoy and something that I can sing with. And so the obvious choice really was to play a guitar. And uh, I had a... a a broken um, acoustic guitar throughout my childhood that I would uh, sometimes pick up and, and play around with, but I never really took it seriously. And I, I found myself being overwhelmed by the complexity of it. And I, I really uh, kept giving up on it. Every time I pick it up, I would really just put it back down and I really just say, eh, it's not for me, it's too complicated. But there was this drive in me to actually learn um, That, that kind of kept me, kept me picking it up. It, get, it, it kept me coming back to it. I kept coming back to playing and, or trying to play until one day I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna learn how to create the final product. Meaning I'm not gonna worry about how to understand how to play every single note on a guitar. I'm actually just gonna sit down and I'm gonna see how I can create a result. And this really has become the secret, I think, to my learning process, and I'm trying to apply this also to the way that I learn Spanish, for example. And it's, it's kind of working for me, but uh, I am a slow learner. But my process is that you have to think about the end product, and you have to think about how to get to that end product before you... You can't necessarily, if you want to pick something up, just think about uh, all of the uh, learning everything. Um, there's this tendency in, in me to want to try to understand everything before I go forward to the next step. And what I've discovered is that the real secret to learning is not doing that at all. It's figuring out what the product that you want to be. What's the, what's the end solution that you're trying to get to? Meaning, do I want to be able to um, play a song? Um, I don't need to be able to play uh, every single note. I don't need to understand even what the actual, um, what the actual chords are all the chords are in order to actually play a song. I just need to memorize how to hold my fingers over each of the frets in order to play them. And so the thing that I noticed is that as I stopped focusing on learning um, all the fundamentals and worrying about knowing and understanding all the notes and everything and started focusing on instead working on the fastest way to get to the result which was 
creating a song that when I actually focus on doing the songs, at the end of the end of the day, I would learn a song and then I move to an, another song, and I, I I can in a week I can actually learn a, a group of songs, and I would discover that even though I didn't really understand what all the chords were, that it was actually teaching me backwards. In other words, I was learning how to actually perform the the music, and then it was helping me to understand how um, how music really works, how scales work. I was just learning it kind of backwards. It's kind of a really backward way of, of learning, is focusing on the result. So I just want to, I kind of want to just remind you guys that there is this tendency in me, and I know it's it's common with every with a lot of people at least. I don't know if it's everybody, but to to get frustrated because you just don't understand everything. And I would say just try to break it down into little um, little goals. I would say micro goals. You know, for music, people who are trying to learn music, instead of trying to learn a guitar or how to play every single note, learn how to play a song. Find a simple song and play it. Three chords is all you need to play a song. <laughs> it's not really that hard to do. So um, that you can you can be playing guitar, uh, you know, very quickly if you just focus on a a small smaller goal instead of actually trying to do everything. So that's what I'm trying to do really with my Spanish learning as well, is I'm trying to learn how to, to, to make smaller goals. And sometimes just coming up with smaller goals um, is a, a little more difficult. With music it's easy because it's just learn a song. Um, I guess with language it would be learn how to um, have a quick introduction um, uh, conversation. Or, you know, that might be like a, a, a good uh, small um, goal to have. So that's, I think, my overall, my overall um, uh, point I'm trying to get across is that if you break things into small enough goals and you don't worry about being perfect and you don't try to learn everything, you really can accomplish a lot of things. So I guess that's all I wanted to talk about for today, and I will see you guys next time. Muy bien, pues vamos con las preguntas acerca del video. Durante cuántos años tocó el saxo Mike? Segunda pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuándo decidió que quería tocar la guitarra? Tercera, ¿cuál es el secreto de Mike para aprender a tocar la guitarra? Y cuarta y última pregunta, ¿cuál es el mensaje de fondo que quiere lanzar Mike acerca del proceso de aprendizaje? Muy bien, pues las respuestas a estas preguntas están en inglés justo debajo de este vídeo, donde además podéis dejar comentarios sobre lo que os ha parecido y sobre lo que opináis sobre el proceso de aprendizaje. Si os ha gustado el vídeo os invito a, a marcar el dedo pulgar hacia arriba y si queréis recibir avisos para todos nuestros vídeos eh, podéis suscribiros a nuestro canal. Igualmente os recuerdo que en mycanjavi.com tenemos todos los vídeos que hemos ido publicando tanto en inglés como en español. También tenemos eh, un blog textual para cada uno de nosotros y algunos recursos para el aprendizaje de idiomas. De momento esto es todo, nos vemos la próxima semana. ¡Hasta luego!